This bottle holds a lot of history, culture, and lore. You are a part of an industry with a rich heritage that's been around for thousands of years. Growing grapes, tending vines, harvesting, crushing, making the wine, aging the wine, all culminates to this point with you at the bottling line. You play an important role in one of California's prize industries. That is why working safely and avoiding injury is so important. This video will explain how you can help reduce the risk of an injury while working on the bottling line. Uh-oh, could this be a problem? Do you think someone arriving to work late or rushed might be a little stressed? Oh man, I shouldn't let that party go till 3 a.m. Someone stressed is more likely to be distracted and therefore unsafe oh, on the sorry. job. Other contributing factors to accidents are coming to work tired, hungry, hungover, or upset. So come to work on time, well rested, well fed, hey, and able to be an active participant in your work environment. Don't you hate missing out on a good joke? Or can you imagine not being able to hear your friends or family and join in a good conversation? Good hearing is part of living well. Music, chatting with friends, communicating is a basic need. So protect your hearing. It's really worth it. And using hearing protection is required by law in California. One thing to remember though, is when wearing hearing protection, be even more visually alert to your surroundings. You may not hear other people or vehicles approaching, so keep your eyes open when wearing hearing protection and use hand signals if you need to help communicate. Ay caramba! Do you see a problem here? These guys do. Do you think our friend here is wearing the right kind of shoes for the job? Let's see what his boss has to say. What are you doing? Hey, boss, what? That's not right shoes oh, for work. Oh, 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 come on. Come on. This is oh, a joke to exaggerate a point. These shoes are obviously not right. But what about this pair? What about this pair? Can you see how any kind of sandals, high heels, or open toe shoes put your feet at risk? Safe, appropriate footwear for the wine bottling area are rubber soled or non-skid closed toe shoes. If you are lifting, you may also want to consider steel toe shoes or boots in case you drop anything on your foot. Rubber soles will help cushion your feet, which in turn help reduce fatigue and backache. Get comfortable from the ground up by wearing the right shoes for the job. Rubber soled or non-skid shoes also help maintain contact with the floor. It's not uncommon for the floor to become wet, so shoes that offer some skid protection and traction are also a good idea. Cool shades, but for work? Some people think if they are wearing their regular prescription glasses or even sunglasses, they don't have to wear safety glasses. Wrong! Everybody has to wear safety glasses, even if you wear prescription lenses. Safety glasses are specially made to deflect particles and debris. They tend to wrap around, offering some side protection as well. There are some prescription glasses that can be rated to wear as safety glasses, but you would need to check to see if they have an ANSI rating on the lenses. If not, then safety glasses can be worn right over your regular glasses. If you are unsure, speak with your employer or your eye doctor before wearing your prescription glasses as safety glasses. There is so much beauty in the world to see. Don't miss out on any of it. Protect your eyes. Here's our goofy friend again, with more inappropriate clothing. 
dangling jewelry and loose clothing can get caught in machinery. It's dangerous to wear such things on the bottling line. So roll up any loose sleeves, or better yet, don't wear loose clothing to begin with. And tuck in a necklace, or better yet, don't wear any dangling jewelry to work. Keep long hair tied back. If you wear a hooded sweatshirt, make sure the string ties are tied and tucked in. Pinch points may sound like a hazard from a younger sibling, but along the bottling conveyor, pinch points are parts of the machinery in which your fingers or other body parts, loose clothing, dangling jewelry, or hair could get caught. Be aware when working near pinch points and use all available machine guarding. The interlock system at many bottling lines is designed to shut down when the access doors open. If you open the doors and it doesn't shut down, do not proceed with any repairs, but instead let your supervisor know. You may really love doing a particular task and feel you could do it all day long. But a lot of people begin to lose focus after a while doing the same task over and over. Your mind may drift. It's when you lose your focus that accidents are more likely to happen. And doing the same motion over and over, in addition to possibly getting boring, can also lead to repetitive stress injuries. Even a small motion, if done hundreds or thousands of times a day, can put stress on your body. There are a couple of ways to avoid both the problem of mental and physical burnout. An ideal solution is to rotate jobs every so often throughout the day. That way you aren't doing any one thing too long. While you're at a particular workstation for an extended period, you can do a few things to reduce stress to your mind and body. Maintain good posture. Keep your weight evenly distributed. Avoid letting your head drop forward, which can put stress on your neck and shoulders. Keep your body in alignment. When standing in place for long periods of time, using a footstool can help alleviate fatigue in your lower back, legs, and feet. Ideally, your workspace should be at waist height, so you're not reaching up or down. Use a platform or other device if that helps you get to the right height. Stretching throughout the day will also help reduce fatigue. You can often stretch while you work. Depending on your workstation, foot rotations, head tilts, shoulder rolls can all be done without missing a beat. When you do get a break, take the opportunity for bigger stretches. You might just be amazed at how much better your body feels after a good stretch. Which item do you think is more dangerous to lift? A bottle or a whole box of bottles? The answer is that almost any item, no matter how big or how small, could cause injury depending on how you lift it. It's all in technique. From a safety standpoint, the safest lifts occur at waist height. That's because at waist height, you're not having to bend over, putting strain on your back. If the item you're lifting is lower than waist height, don't bend over at the waist, but rather bend at your knees, keeping your body as upright as possible throughout the entire lift. Turn using your feet while carrying a load. Do not twist at the waist. Keep the load close to your body. Avoid holding the item away from your body. When you reach your destination, do not extend the load away from your body to set it down. Instead, use your body to get right up to your destination. Set the item down and push it into place. If you choose to wear a back brace, remember it's only a tool for lifting and should not be worn when performing other tasks throughout the day. The lockout tagout procedure, also known as lockout blockout, involves locking out the power source to a piece of machinery when doing regular maintenance or doing repairs.
That way, no one can inadvertently turn on a piece of equipment while someone else is working on it. In many businesses, employees with the training and authority to work on machinery have their own locks tagged with either their name, picture, or number code on it. So that way, when you see the equipment locked out, you can tell who did it and check with them about the status of a piece of machinery. Use lockout tagout even if you're only doing a quick repair. The few seconds you take to lock out the machine could save you or a coworker from a serious injury. And this might be a good point to mention that everybody, whether you do repairs or not, should know where emergency shutoff switches are located. No one wants to be seen as a complainer or a big baby, but in the case of an injury on the job, stop and tell your supervisor. Don't be the tough guy and keep working if you are hurt. You could make an injury worse. All injuries, big or small, must be reported to your supervisor immediately. And if you were hurt before coming to work, let your supervisor know about that too. Depending on the severity of your workplace injury, you may be entitled to worker compensation insurance benefits to help with medical and rehabilitation costs. But worker compensation benefits are only for injuries suffered while doing your job. And just so you know, it's a felony to file a claim for workers' compensation benefits for an injury that happened outside of work. We hope you are never injured on the job, but if you are, it's good to know help is available for your care and recovery in order to get you back on the job. We hope you enjoy a healthy, happy career in the wine industry. If you ever have any questions or concerns about how to do your job safely, please ask your supervisor. Your work is the pride of California. Be safe and cheers to you.